Okay, so you follow me over here uh, to the YouTube channel. This is the Decibel Music YouTube channel. And you know what? I think what I'm going to do is um, start outside and show you guys this, you know, the neighborhood, I guess, so to speak, you know, before I show you the store. So let me turn it. Zoom out. So, just to give you an idea of what we're looking like from the street level. Wait for all the good people to pass by. So this is it, man. This is where we are. And, you know, let me walk down here real quick. Yeah, man, we're in the thick of things, as you can see. I mean, it's it's nighttime over here, and really doesn't sleep down here. You know, I'm having this big high-rise building. Hopefully, a vinyl enthusiast coming. Just walk to the. I'm just gonna walk to this main intersection. This is what we're working with. That's the metro. So anybody who wants to come and visit us. Right there is where you would come and get off the train. Shaw Howard University. Stop. That's right, we're, we're pretty much, I consider us on the campus of Howard University. I mean, this building right here is the United Negro College Fund. And from what I understand, Howard University's like psych department is in there or something like that. You know, let's see. And right over there, I'm not gonna walk too far, but Oh, another point of reference is right through this alley. Right up that alleyway. Right there is the Howard Theater. Just to let you guys know that. Let's see, let's cross the street. Here we go. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the store. This is us. This courtyard, I haven't really done anything with yet, but we will. It's Decibel Music, 626 S Street. S as in Sam. There's our coming soon. And here we go. Here's the tour of the store. Now, we just got two big collections in. So, we're still kind of dealing with some boxes of albums. Some albums here. I'm going to start over here. <clears throat> We will be having in-store performances, and I know musicians never like to, you know, pack up their drums, so we have an in-store drum kit. This is my little mail center. We have more albums, you know. Yeah, it's like about 10 feet, I guess. You know, it's our mailing station all of our junk that we have in there where we mail stuff off. <sighs> like I said, we're still getting shit together here. So this is kind of a staging sorting table right here in the front of the store. And then, you know, our little display counter. But this is the wall. And it has some spots in it because we've been taking stuff down and, you know, pricing things out. And so these bins right here, or the high dollar bins by genre. And it's actually gonna to be together. There's there's like seven missing right now. Like I said, we're still doing stuff, still kind of getting it together. But you know, you know, we got crazy jazz and crazy soul, you know, sealed. You know, just the shit like that. Um, this is the main area where we're going to have our bins. Now, we didn't decide to, to just put everything out that we have. So, you know, everything that's a dollar pretty much is going to be underneath. Oh, and, and check this out. Hold on. You know, for the people who want to dig underneath. 
You know what I'm saying? So this is the jazz section. It comes over here. Dollar stuff underneath. It's black gospel. Calypso Island stuff. African records. Which this LP has a pretty dope cut on it. These two are going to be blues. Blues in that collection that we just got was crazy. We had a collection. One collection was 18,000 LPs. The other one was just over or just shy of 4,000. This is a reggae and all of this, all of this, even down there. Uh, let me see. I don't have enough room to show you. All of those are dance, electronic, house, and techno. And let me tell you, when you go to my uh, Instagram channel, you'll see that we have some very serious DJs in this area. DJ Native Son, who uh, spun in Coachella this year. He's in here spinning some of those house records that came and they just ran through. You know, all of these are soul. All of these are soul records. I mean, it's some dope shit in here. Sealed Sade records. Let's see if I can locate it. Oh, no. he he. It used to be like somewhere here, but my guy Jeff kind of reorganized it. Over here, this is the hip hop full albums. We have a lot of picture sleeves. I mean, we have literally thousands, uh, not picture sleeves, of picture disc you know and I'm, we're probably not going to keep this crate but there was just so many i want to see if anybody comes in here and goes through those and gets any of that stuff you know rock yada 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 show you guys the wall real quick this is the stuff that you know that's a uh, autograph kendrick lamar brother ah you know great all of that that's a dope ass Max Roach. That's a crazy Booker Irvin, probably one of my favorite. That's sealed, by the way. This is the crazy Jay Z sample. That's an original. It's like mint condition. It's, it's a dumb LP. Too. Think that too is a steal on it. You know, got some sun raw. So now, this back wall. Yeah, this is uh, 18 by 12. 12 feet high, 18 feet wide. This is our back stock. This is not a browsable wall for our customers that come in day to day. I mean, there's some there's some VIPs that that kind of like, you know, know what's on there, and and we don't mind digging. But for the most part, like none of that shit is priced. It's random. There's $100 records. There's $500 records. Of course, up where most people can't get them. But <clears throat> for the most part, like, it's broken down like this. This is organized. These all right here, for the most part, I think, like, starting with this cube and this cube is, like, hip-hop with either picture sleeves or full-length albums. Um, then you go into the generic sleeves for the 12 inches. Most of that is like hip hop R and B twelve inches generic sleeves, picture sleeves, full length albums. Then you come over here. So starting right here, these are comedy albums. Then we go into gospel, black gospel, black gospel, black gospel, black gospel, blues, 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 blues. Oldie, no, Motown, all of this shit is Motown, Tamla, Soul, Gordy, and other subsidiaries of, Mo, of, of Motown. Uh, what is that? All of this is Stax. Stax and Volt. Uh, all of these right here are James Brown albums. All of these right here are Aretha Franklin albums, some sealed. All OGs. Uh, what is this? Let me see. All of these are Parliament, Funkadelic, George Clinton related albums. All of these are Prince related albums. Some sealed, by the way. African. Uh, 
Latin, Jamaican, Island, other island, Caribbean. You get the drift. It's crazy. And so basically the empty cubes that you see, oh, how could I forget? Up top is where you see the jazz. These three rows in here are all jazz. And those all the way up there are classical albums, which of course will be phased out after a while. I mean, we have enough over there to get rid of them now. But these are going back to my house, which at my house I have probably like 40 boxes of, you know, kind of like mid to high dollar LPs that we got out of the second collection. All of this shit right here, we have not gone through. And we have not gone through and sorted that. So all of that's gonna end up in those blank spaces to fill out the back of this wall. This, this area right here is actually gonna be the stage area. We're gonna be shooting podcasts. These are some, when we buy collections, we get other shit in them naturally. You know, oh yeah, you already know that was in there and that's going to have to be refurbished, but that was in there as well. This right here, if you guys can't see, this is a custom made, we had this custom made for, it's a DJ coffin table that actually is height adjustable. It's, it, this, I mean, this shit right here is dumb, but you guys will see it. This is what we're pretty much... You know, if you guys see those DJ spinning sessions, or if anybody watches those, we're going to be shooting those with local DJs. So if any DJs are watching and you want to come in here, and you want to do a, a, a spin session, that'll be the backdrop. And then we'll also have probably, you know, a camera mounted up there for a bird's eye kind of store wide view. You know, that'll be that. This over here is our listening station. And, you know, we have the tube, the nice tube amps and headphones for all three listening stations where you guys can come over here and sample so nobody's doing any type of blind, uninformed buy because sometimes shit don't sound like it looks. That's a little courtyard in the back for the residents that live upstairs as well. This is our jazz wall. This is where we're keeping all the jazz shit. You know, we as you can see, we have some titles. We have some titles on there. You know? Yeah. Shit is heavy, man. This is our, our counter. As you see, we're kind of still trying to get organized. There's another turntable under there. This is kind of where we do our, we sample our shit, listen, try to get stuff organized. You know, there's all, I mean, it's kind of dis, disarray. This microwave is going to get put away. And, you know, this is where I watch the Redskins game or the Commanders game if I'm in here on a Sunday. You know, it is what it is, man. This is kind of like really, really high dollar shit. Stuff we have up currently on Discogs. You know, these Discogs cubes. We got cubes where we haven't really put out stuff like this. This cube, just to give you an idea of what's back here. I put these little labels. I was trying out like a concept. So just in case people wanted to know the labels, especially on Blue Note Records. But it kind of makes it look like a reissue, doesn't it? So I think we're going to abandon this. But, you know, there's some heavy shit up here. If you guys know that. Hold on. Let me. If you guys know this record. It's a local record. But Hilton Felton. One of his heaviest shits. This is a promo. Look at that. Yeah, we all know this one. That's a famous one. Sought after. Another brother eye up here. This is a dope ass LP. I never thought that. I see this. Oh, this is a local. The the cover's kind of beat, but uh, but the um, you know the uh the actual disc is is perfect. I'm gonna needle drop that because I don't think that I'll get punished for needle dropping that one. You know, you guys, there's 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 heavy shit up here. Look at that. Pretty much have every Lloyd McNeil, and this is just stuff that you know. 
kind of like Will Trick a Lot. This is the illest reggae record I've ever heard. We have two of these in the collection that we bought. I highly recommend you all check out this. We'll needle drop that too. See if we, we, we can figure out how not to get punished for needle dropping some more Hilton Felton records, some Fela. If I come over here also, we have a, you know, of course, as we go through the rest of those kind of jazz records, we'll be building out. You all recognize those spines, but we also have some shit on here. Like all of this shit is Sun Ra. A lot of it is like reissue, but some of it is just like later issued shit too. What else? Whole Gil Scott herring cube. Everything in here is Gil Scott related. Uh, and this is front facing, but we have some Strata East titles. Just a few that we decided to keep over here. But you know, the collection had, come on, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Anyway, man, listen, we're gonna be, oh, all these are like these Japanese issued uh, with OB strips, whatever. <clears throat> all of this stuff you guys are gonna be seeing. We're gonna have crazy content on the channel weekly for you all to look forward to. These are our, our hip hop tapes. Serious, serious, serious titles here. I mean, that, that that's the whole Prince role, but like, go ahead and look at that. Yeah, man. So that's what it is. Hold on, let me uh see where I could put this down, flip it back around. I'm really not that savvy at this. Where are we at? 16. So, you know, that's what we're doing, man. That's how we're coming. You guys want to come down here and visit? Come on down. We got a lot of albums. You know, of course, I got my VIPs and I'm looking forward to seeing um, but man, you know, we appreciate the support, the follows on the YouTube channel, as well as the Instagram. I'll put the Instagram link over there too. Um, and just keep your eyes peeled for more content. I appreciate y'all. Take care.